Uh, Facebook. Yeah. How to make sixty thousand dollars in the next six months using Facebook. Um, you, you know what's funny, guys? Uh, true story. If you guys remember on Tuesday, I was telling you guys how I was talking to, C to Cecilia and I told her, you know what? Five years ago, I met this lady and, and I'm going to show you all this stuff in a little bit, but um, this month, and this is not to brag guys, just, you know, um, this month, honest to God from Facebook, I, I, I never... My client, I, I never met him before. We went to the same high school, but we, we never, um, you know, we, we, and I don't know why my computer's doing this. Oh, that's why maybe. But um, you guys can hear me, right? I hope they can hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, Benny, I can hear you. Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, Debbie. So, so um, basically, guys, um, what when uh, this month I was just saying this client, the only thing that we had in common is that we went to the same high school, but the, this one lady that I went to high school with, not in the same class, she was probably there like two to three years after me. So I, she was probably a freshman when I was a senior. Um, from her. It trickled down and I'm going to go and show you guys just so you could see all this, but just, just, and not to brag again, this month, um, I have closed two transactions stemming from that whole link from back then. Uh, and the, the gross commissions, um, uh, was, uh, 10,200 and 20,300. So 30,000 in gross commissions from Facebook this month, um, going back to that first connection five years ago. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to show you guys all the links so you can see uh, all the dots, but I mean, amazing. And on top of that, so I closed those transactions. So I sold the, 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 the person's house, helped them buy a house. Okay. And then the mother-in-law just listed with me uh, a couple of days ago too. So another, probably another 10 grand coming as well. So about 40,000 from Facebook just this month, right? Uh, of course, like I said, those, that connection goes back to five years ago, but, but it's, it, it's happened from Facebook and um, I didn't have to pay. You, I'm going to show you guys that I, that I do pay for advertising on Facebook, but, but you'll see there that um, it, it came from uh, just organic uh, Facebook use. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start um, sharing my screen here. <sighs> Desktop share. Okay, cool. And so, uh, all right, so there. And, okay, so the, the first thing I'm going to and please, you guys, if, if for some weird reason I cut out or you can't hear me or can't understand what I'm saying, please stop me because I, I don't know why. Normally, the, the uh, Zoom, it, when I'm speaking, it puts a, a green bar around me. And for some weird reason, it's not doing that. It's showing that other people. Um, so it's, it's weird. I, I don't get it. But anyways. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing I want to share with you guys is this. Um, as you can see, this is my um, Facebook, okay? Um, and here's going to be the first thing that I'm going to, uh, one thing that I, I would want you guys to do is this specific Facebook page is specifically realtors and lenders, title people, Termite people, that's David Bravo, title guy, right? Uh, Angie, title. Uh, Willie, he's a lender, okay? What, what happened is many, many years ago when I first got my Facebook account, I was adding everybody to it, meaning lenders, 
uh, title people, uh, anybody that was in our industry, anybody I just considered a friend, just add them, right? Well, one day I put, look, you got Kelly there. So one day I, I posted a, um, a, something about a uh, home for sale. And then when I went down in the comments a couple hours later, I noticed that one of my friends said, hey, Benny, how much is this house and when can we see it, right? And right below that, um, an agent put there, hey, I just messaged you, right? Uh, check, check your messages. And I thought to myself, wait a minute. So, so this, you know, I'm over here trying to find my clients, buyers and sellers using Facebook, but I added an agent to my Facebook and now that agent is trying to steal my, my potential lead. So immediately I deleted everybody that had anything to do with real estate and created this second account where I have only real estate people. Um, you know, these, I know all, I know most of these people. Um, and that's just, this is my se separate Facebook. So one thing that I would recommend is that you do not add um, realtors, uh, industry people to your Facebook so that that doesn't happen to you. Um, then the other thing, so if you do want to have friendships with um, people in the business, then create a second Facebook where you strictly do um, these things. Uh, all right. So, so now let me go. Uh, any, any questions about that? No, it's okay. You guys are good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, so, all right, move, moving on. I'm going to get out of this Facebook. Oh, oh, wait, one more thing. So here, I'm going to go to my page. Okay. And if you notice, you know, I, I write a lot of quotes. I love quotes. That's, you know, something that I really like to do is, is look up quotes and, and quote famous people that I look up to. And, you know, I, I love art. If you notice, look at my, this is my, my, this is my um, Facebook for all of my real estate friends. Okay. So it's not my personal Facebook, but if you notice, I put quotes, put music that I like, right. Um, more quotes, you know, a, maybe a couple political things, music, right. Um, so, but, but notice I don't really talk about real estate here. Well, I do a little bit. See, look at that. There's, uh, you know, Bruce will do that for you sometimes when you ha have a great year, he'll put you in the um, press telegram, right? So, um, but obviously he, I'm not posting much about real estate here because uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna get any any clients from, from this, right? So, um, because obviously everybody on here is a realtor. G give me a second guys, I'm gonna turn off the phones in the office. One second. Don, what, what is it again that I have to turn it on? Oh. It is. Um, Give me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. Star 61 number sign. Star 61 number sign. Is that after we changed it? Remember? Inbound mode site success to mode zero. Because remember last time we had it flipped? Yeah. All right. Okay. Anyways. All right, guys. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay. So back, back to it. So anyways, guys, you, you, you know, the good thing about this Facebook, right? So a year ago I started um, in management. So, you know, it's good that I have this realtor one, right? Because all these real estate agents now, if they're ever thinking about switching offices or whatever, they, they might come over. But uh, again, notice I'm not really putting any real estate posts on this one because again, I'm, you know, it's not like another agent's going to give me a deal or anything, but this is good for networking. You know, um, I mentioned in the Tuesday morning meeting that um, I just closed a transaction with somebody and they added me as a friend on Facebook. Right. And so you never know, maybe uh, they have a listing coming up and you know, I might think that it's a good deal or something and I'll, I'll end up, you know, seeing it on Facebook or, or whatever. So um, just uh, something to keep in mind, I, I would recommend making a second page just for people in your real estate industry. Uh, okay, we're logging out. 
And now we're going to my my real personal Facebook page. And guys, I'm sorry if we have background noise. Um, I am in the office and we are working today. Um, but hopefully you guys could still focus on my voice. Um, so this is my personal um, Facebook page. This is the first page that I ever created. Um, and so let's go to me. All right. Um, if you notice, it, this page doesn't really scream real estate. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, okay, I'm in a suit and tie. Um, there is a picture of an iconic property in um, Hollywood here. Um, but, but there's not really much, you know, it's not like right away, you know, it's real estate, real estate, real estate. It's, it's, it's kind of personal. Um, but it does have like a little bio about me, fulfilling my purpose, LA home guy, helping people own their piece of heaven, Southern California. So, uh, one thing that I do recommend that you guys do is do fill out all these details. Um, so, you know, what you do for a living, you know, real estate agent, broker, whatever it is. Uh, at Berkshire Hathaway in Cyprus, right? Uh, where you went to school, right? Um, whether you're single, if you want to put that or not, it doesn't matter. Where you live, okay? Um, and then, you know, any other things. So you guys, I really recommend that you do fill out your intro so that people can look you up. Um, also, if I could um, bring a thought to you guys, um, a, a real strong uh, a thought is that, Pretend Facebook is a party. So your friend invited you to a party, okay? So when you go to, to parties, you, you know, you might say, hey, if you don't know somebody, hey, how are you? Hey, I'm Benny, nice to meet you. How do you know, how do you know Angie? Oh, you know, we used to work together. We went to high school, right? It, it's never, um, you know, when you walk into a party, you don't go, hi, I'm Benny. I'm a real estate agent. Do you want to buy or sell? You know, you don't do that. So, so think of it that way as, as, as your profile, think of it that way. You, you don't want it to be a fire hydrant of, of real estate. Um, I would recommend that you do maybe 95% personal, 5% real estate. And so we're going to go down and I'll show you, um, Look, I shared this from a year ago. So how's this for taking your mind off current events? And it's just a, a, a quick video I made um, when I was at Dana Point uh, a couple of years ago, right? Like four years ago. All right, my next one, uh, this is my, my friend Terry. She tagged me in the picture because we went to uh, dinner together, right? And that's her family. So um, so anyway, so, so okay, that I didn't post, but uh, here you go real estate posts, right? That makes it a, a 10, a perfect 10. That was from uh, nine years ago, right? When I was in the press telegram. All right, there I changed my picture. Okay, here for 4th of July, I did put a Berkshire Hathaway 4th of July, um, you know, uh, post, okay? Uh, uh, here, you see, this is just a, a quote or me just, you know, sharing thoughts, right? A pic of my baby picture. Um, this is a quote, another quote. Uh, okay, here's real estate. Potential buyer, how's the real estate market, blah, 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 right? Uh, temporary, okay, another real estate post. And another real estate post, right? And there's a change of a picture. Another real estate post. Okay, happy Father's Day. Quote, quote, change of picture another real estate post. So here, you, you know what guys, in the last few weeks, you could say that maybe I've been doing too much real estate on my personal. Um, but the goal is not to, um, the goal is to try to keep it more personal. Um, and what will happen is when you're keep keeping it personal, um, people will eventually, if they like what you're saying, if you're commenting on the, on their stuff, pe people will eventually come over and, look you up. Oh, who is this Benny? What does he do? You know? And, and so pe that's why it's really important that you do um, update your about you intro here, because that's what you want to, um, you know, that's how you want to connect with people. But uh, let's see, let's go a little bit further down. I just want to really make it a point, guys, that um, it should be less about real estate and more about 
just you. Unfortunately, maybe the last few weeks, I, I've had too much real estate on my mind. But okay, look, here's a, a quote, right? Uh, all right, wow, again, real estate. Um, Easter. So yeah, th there are, um, but if you notice, there's still, you know, man, I, maybe I need to take my own advice and, and pull back a little bit from the real estate. But, um, but, but yeah, if you can see, it's a mix of, of the two. It's not all real estate, real estate, real estate. Okay, so here you go. Um, coronavirus, right? Uh, a Bill Gates quote. Uh, me and my friends went hiking at the Hollywood sign, right? Um, let's see what else. Okay, a quote. A video of the ocean. Another quote. A, vi a music video. Um, okay, there I'm talking about real estate. So do, do you guys get it? Uh, any questions so far on that? No questions on that? So, so just, you know, I know that maybe my example is not so good right now, but, but you, you do want to, like I said, it's more about um, personal stuff and, you know, 5% real estate or like uh, I told Cecilia uh, that just joined our office from Santa Ana, it, it's kind of like boxing. It's a uh, jab, jab, punch, I think. That's what they say. So, you know, two regular posts, one real estate post, or, or maybe even, you know, four regular posts and then one real estate post. But okay, on to the next thing. So, you know, as you're adding people, um, you, you, you want to interact with people. Okay. Here, we're going to go here and, and, and this is, um, okay. So here, my friend Terry, she's wrote something. Uh, all right. Gina de Pritchard, this is a, she's always in her bikinis. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is my cousin, cousin. Um, so, you know, e even with, you know, treat everybody as a friend so, so you can go, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know? Okay. Now, now that's, that's interacting with people. Uh, okay, look at this. I finished the family wall. Right? Do you see this? Christine Colvin. So I'm going to write, too awesome. Right? And... I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just commenting on people's stuff. But what happens is, is eventually maybe that person will like my comment. And then she might be like, I wonder what Benny Chavez does. Oh, okay. He works in, in real estate. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Right? So, uh, Teresa, a person trying to break into a home. Is very good. Oh, wow. Right? Just, you know, nothing crazy. Um Defunds, okay, that's that's uh, realtors. Um, thanks for my mask, yeah. Oh, all right. Those are really cool. So you want to be interacting. You don't just want to have Facebook just to have it and add people. You want to also go and and post on people's stuff. Um, the you know that that's how you're gonna get people to come back to you. Um, and then the other thing is this. See. You, you never know who the person that you're um, messaging or, or, or commenting on is. For example, Gronk Nicandro, this guy here, he, he's actually a famous painter. Um, a lot of his works are uh, at the LA County Museum of Art and in other major museums around the world. So um, check this out. So love it, Gronk. Can't wait to visit right because what he does um obviously not now during covid but uh, in the past he'll open his studio in downtown la up to students and and guests and you know uh, hello benny i'm so sorry to interrupt you yeah. may i ask you do do we have any recording for this yeah this is being recorded right now yeah, because sometimes <laughs> okay thank you very much thank hey, you you got it um, guys, uh, this will be recorded and then it'll be posted on my YouTube channel. Um, so when you go to YouTube, you just go to LA home guy 
and a lot of our meetings and a lot of these trainings are recorded there. But um, so, so, so guys, just, uh, you know, again, you know, this guy Gronk, right? He, like I said, he's a famous artist, right? Think of all the people he knows, right? I've never met Gronk in person, but just think about all the people he knows, right? There's people that paid thousands of dollars for his art. Um, imagine having him not as a client, just as somebody that you network with that later on, you know, you meet, he introduces you to somebody and then, you know, oh, so what do you do, Annie? Oh, I'm a real estate agent. Oh, so, so again, don't forget that guys treat Facebook as a, um, a party. It's, it's, it's a party. You're, you're, you're at a cocktail party. Um, you, you know, and, and that's, you know, what, what it is. Uh, David Bravo. Okay. David Bravo is a title rep. Chances of him giving me any business, uh, are very slim. Uh, I'm really good friends with his brother, but, um, so, so with him, not, not too crazy. Okay. So this girl, Carla, she works at Cerritos N Nissan. Okay. This is what's really funny about this guys. Remember I said that five years ago, I met this, I, I threw Facebook, I met somebody and, and um, she messaged me and whatever. The only thing we had in common was school. Um, she ended up linking me to all these people that, that and see, look at that. Christine Colvin on the left likes your comment. Do you see that? So right now, guys, I just, for free, placed a little bit of, of myself into, um, into Christine's mind, right? Okay, so anyways, I don't know what uh, this Carla girl is doing, but Car Carla works at Cerritos Nissan. Okay, guys? It turns out that this lady from five years ago, I ended up, I ended up now representing three employees at Cerritos Nissan. Um, the, 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 look at that. Monica also commented, meaning that she commented on what I said. So, so anyways, um, this girl, Carla, she hasn't bought a house for me, but she, she's a, a contact at Cerritos Nissan. And you never know, but it's funny. She's told me, oh, hey, my coworkers say they know you, that they bought houses from you. You know? So it's just, it, it's just another connection. Uh, yes, what a great film. Okay, so um, that's what I recommend you should do is, you know, try to interact with people. Um, all right, she's talking about her mom. Look, and it doesn't take a lot. Beautiful. Right? Um, Uh-oh. Yikes. You know who this is, guys? That's not good. That's my client. She has a water leak in her bathroom. Yeah, it's not good, right? So anyways, um, <laughs> I'll have to call her in a little bit about that. Um, but, but anyways, uh, just you guys got the drift on that, right? So, okay, now here's another thing. Okay, so let me show you. The, the, this is, uh, first I want to show you guys something, and then, and why is my computer... Okay. Okay. Let me show you guys something. Um, Crystal Marshall. Okay. okay. Check this out, guys. And any questions so far? Don't be shy, please, guys. Um, I sent you two texts in your in the chat, in your personal chat. Oh, you did. Okay. Uh. uh Thank you, Carolina. Okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, okay, uh, Benny can. Yes, absolutely. No, okay, guys, I'm gonna, uh, Carolina, ho hopefully uh, you don't mind me uh, sharing this question with it. Guys, uh, Carolina asked, can we post pictures of properties that we've sold? Do we need any permission from the buyer? Uh, I've, no, no. Um, if you guys remember, um, in the disclosures, both on the listing side and the buyer side, it, it lets them know that you know a lot of the photography, uh, video, um, uh, terms of the sale, all that stuff is um, uh, is public. So no, absolutely not. You don't need any permission. 
you're totally fine with advertising that. Unless a, a buyer says, hey, you know what? No, I don't want you sharing any of my, my you know, pictures, which, you know, they're out there. Once the MLS, you know, the MLS, the MLS syndicates to God knows how many, uh, sorry, websites. So those pictures are out there. So yes, you could put, and in a second, guys, I'm going to show you my business page so you could see where I put a lot of the solds and all that stuff. But, um, okay, um, moving on. So here you go, guys. Look at this. Ready? July of 2014. The starter home you posted in Paramount. Is that a bad area? Hi, Crystal. No, it's actually a nice, quiet part of Paramount. It borders the Hollydale neighborhood of Southgate and corners with Downey. Okay, not really familiar with the area. Address is 7403 Cortland. We'll have pictures of Saturday. Cool, thank you. Is this your listing with $3,000 down? What do payments like? Yes, it's my listing. Asking, look at this, guys. Paramount, 350 <laughs> six years ago. Oh, my gosh. That house is worth like 500000 now. Uh, the monthly payment, uh, putting 3000 down. And, yes, when I tell you guys 2500 used to buy a house, it really did with down payment assistance. Uh, 3000 down would be 2432 That includes principal or whatever. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to look at the area, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I want her on a 15 payment. No worries. That's my job. Okay. Here, we got to go. Uh, thank you so much. I'll be paying 1500 for an apartment. So if you see here, we're having a conversation about real estate. I never met Crystal in my life prior to this. So at, at this time when we're messaging, I had never met her. The only thing that we had in common is that she went to the same high school that I went to. And because of that, I added her as a friend. Okay. And I'm going to show you how, how to do that in a second too. So I'm still talking to her, trying to convince her to come in. Okay. So then, so if you remember that was July of 2014, fast forward to September, 2015. Hi, Benny. My mom's best friend has been looking to buy a home here in Downey. She's been pretty much looking on her own for months now. She would like to work with a realtor, but everyone that she has spoke to has been really pushy and has made her feel uncomfortable. So yesterday while talking to her and hearing her frustration, you popped into my head. I was wondering if I could give her your info and you can talk to her. Yes, thanks for thinking of me. Send me her info and whatever, right? That's awesome, thank you. Her name is Joni. Okay, that would be cool, don't worry. All right, here's what's funny, guys. I sell this lady a house, Joni, okay? Uh, th then um, a couple months later, Crystal and her husband call me and then I sell them a house, all right? Then here's where it gets crazy, okay? Oh my gosh, why is it not doing that? London. Huh, did he? Huh. I think he I think he removed his his Facebook. Anyways, all right. So so London London deleted his Facebook. Um Okay, anyways, this is London's wife Maud. I wish I could show you guys because in the messages on London's uh he posted something about Hey, I'm thinking about buying a house, just, you know, not too sure who to work with, blah, blah, blah. And so when he put that, that last lady, Crystal, she messaged, put my name, Benny Chavez. And, and then what happened is um, I, I uh, sent London a video. Hey, London, I saw your post. Hey, man, I would love to help you. I, I've worked with a, a mutual friend, Crystal. I, I, I sold her a house. And... And, um, you know, uh, I'd love to help you if, if that would be a possibility, right? And, um, you know, later on, he hired me. And here's the crazy thing, guys. The first house I showed him, he's like, I love this house, right? We met at this house. The first house is shown. And he goes, you have anything else to show me? I go, no, I don't. I go, Look, let me show you what's on the MLS, but I don't see anything that compares to this. He goes, that's fine. We'll take this house. I mean, I literally sold that house on the first showing, first time out with this, this buyer. And so anyways, then he, rec then London referred me to another guy named Angelo. 
sold him a house and sold Angelo's house. Then Joni that Crystal referred me sold her house and sold her a condo. And it goes on and on guys. And like I said, the closing that I just um, did this month, the two closings, they stem from this lady Crystal that you guys just saw. So anyways, it's about 12 transactions, but here's what I want to show you. Please take note of this. This is the important part. Okay. Um, and this will be, this is recorded. So this is what I did guys early on. I put Downey high school, right in the search bar. Okay. And then I clicked on people. Okay. So Joey Wood, right? I don't know why he's coming up, but he, he probably um, has something in his profile that says Downey High School, okay? And uh, we can click on him and see. Um, look at that. I have 24 mutual friends with him. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, went to Downey High School, right? Went to Harvard University. Owner at what? He has an electrical company. So anyways, I'm going to add him right now. Boom. Okay. And then he's going to either approve me or not approve me or whatever. Right. But here's the thing guys is me and this guy have something in common. We both went to the same high school. Does that mean that we know each other? No, that's just one thing we have in common. And now if he adds me, he's going to start seeing my quotes, my pictures, and then every so often, our real estate post. All right, let's go back. Wendy Espinoza, right? Why did she come up? Well, it says here, Warren High School. If you know about Downey, the other high school is Warren High. Now, I'm not going to add Wendy Espinoza because she's actually a real estate agent and I know her. So I'm not going to get any business from her. And I wouldn't want to risk having her on, on my Facebook and then she picks up one of my leads, right? All right. Mia Delgado, one mutual friend, Amy Delgado, went to Downey High School. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, I know for a fact that Amy Delgado is my friend from high school. This might be her daughter or not. Maybe Mia Delgado is her sister. Okay, that looks like Mia. Okay. Or maybe a cousin, right? So she went to Downey High School, whatever. All right. I'm going to add her too. Okay. So basically, um, I'll give you another example. Uh, Anthony Zamora, see, he's a title rep. He's not going to give me any business. He, his, his mom's a real estate agent. Um, so, so, but basically, Jason Lucero, he's a real estate broker. I'm not going to add him, right? But um, basically, that's what you would do. Now, let's say you went to Lincoln High School. All right, I don't know where Lincoln High School is. I just put that in there. So let's pretend one of you went to Lincoln High School. Go to people, right? And it's not gonna work every time, guys, right? Okay, there you go. Look, Lincoln Curtis, okay. It just pulled him up because it's Lincoln and that's what the search went, right? This guy lives in Arkansas. You're not gonna add him as a friend, you know? Um, Lincoln Forest Phipps. Right, it picked him up again just because that's his name. So now, if you see there, he studied at UCLA. If I went to UCLA, I would add him. We have that in common. We both went to that school. Maybe you know we know some people, right? Okay, uh, Ryan Lincoln. So, so if you notice, this search only picked up Lincoln. It's not really picking up people that went to Lincoln High School. All right, let's do one in. Um, Long Beach, Jordan High School. I think that's what the name is. Long Beach, Jordan. Here, we'll do this one here. Okay. And again, I'm going to go to people. All right, here you go. Ellie Rodriguez. Now, I don't know how old she is. She doesn't look, uh, why well, I can't tell by that picture. But anyways, okay. Um, oh, wow. Follow. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so you can't add her. All right. But look at this guy, Zeke Lopez. Okay. And I have a mutual friend with him. Do you see that? So, okay, Zeke Lopez, we have an, a mutual friend, and they went to David Jordan High. All right, we have a mutual friend. 
maybe I'll add Z. Okay, so basically this is how you're gonna be building your friends list, all right? Um, that, that, that's how you build your, your friends list um, by finding things that you have in common. Uh, what's another one? Look, I be, uh, I'm a Santa Ana elk, right? So Santa Ana elk. Here, let's see if there's anything. People. Okay, see, this search didn't work because it's putting up people that live in Elk Grove, California. Do you see that? Uh, then it's also picking this person up because they live in Santa Ana. Right? So that didn't work. But um, something else that could be in common, uh, you know, we have an agent in the office, Renee, he likes cycling. So cycling, right? And then people. Okay. Um, David Brennan, founder at Skilled Cyclists, right? So you might have something in common with him in bike riding. So you add him. You get it? You don't have to know these people. Just add them. Uh, let's go back to my page real quick. Let me show you. I have 1,991 friends. Do I know all those people? Not at all. Not at all. Um, but, um, you know, maybe a percentage of these people will, will end up, you know, seeing my posts and wanting to um, buy or sell a home. And there you have it. I'll, I'll end up, um, you know, making some money that way, right? Uh, network. Maybe they don't buy a home from you. Maybe they know somebody that, that um, you know, is looking to buy a home. And though like that, like remember what happened with that lady Crystal, she referred me first to her, her, her mom's friend and then ended up buying a house for me after her, right? So, okay, let's go to now, do I recommend a business page? Yes, I do because that's how you'll be able to um, put ads out. See, only the people that are your friends can see what you, what you post, okay? Only the people that are your friends can see what you post. So no, nobody outside your friends can see what you post, right? So in order to reach more people, you have to do what they call is a boost, right? So let's, let me show you that. So this is my LA Home Guy business page, okay? And Carolina, to answer your question, here, here's you know where I really put a lot of my ads. I still, I still put a lot of my ads on my personal page because remember guys, the, the quickest way to a sell is to deal with people that know you, like you, and trust you. That, that's your warm sphere of influence. So um, if you, know, you wanna advertise to them to stay top of mind that you are still in the business, right? But on your business page is where you can actually boost the post. You see here on the right, where it says boost post, boost again. Look at this, view results. So here you go. This one I had, look, I spent $50 in 39 days. My total budget for this was $195, right? Um, total amount spent. I think I canceled this ad because I wasn't satisfied with the results that I was getting. I wasn't getting any traction with it. But um, you add it to manager. Let's see here. I want to show you guys something. Hopefully it'll show me this. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm not too... Well, uh, this is just just saying the first ad. Okay, let me get out of here. Uh, we'll go back here. Okay. Anyways, I'm I'm trying to see where. Uh, I wanted to see. No. Anyways, guys, I wanted to show you where where you could see that I've actually spent 
uh, over three thousand dollars in advertising. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not. I know that data when I showed it to Cecilia, we were able to see it. But um, anyways, okay. So this is where you would place your ads, guys, and boost them. See this one? This did really well. Um, look, look at this. Uh, it had 1,872 engagements. It reached 15,000 people at five cents a person. Okay? Can, can you guys imagine, right? You guys are talking to me right now. I can't do an open house. I can't door knock. I can't cold call. <laughs> How about reaching 15,000 people? And it spent over two days. Look at that. $100 spent on two days reached 15 people. Now, this, I was trying to sell my listing, right? So, so that's the ad, right? I was trying to sell my listing. So, so, you know, the approach was different. But what if you, well, it's still had here. If you see this, purchase with only $12,000 down, right? What if you had posted like a really nice property and you put their purchase with only 5,000 down uh, payments as low as 2,000 a month? You're going to get phone calls. You're definitely going to get phone calls. So um, going back, uh, if you notice, look, I did a lot of ads for that property. Okay, um, Carolina, this is something, if you use, can and this is for everybody, if you guys use Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com, you can upload a picture and add text and add other pictures, logos, whatever you want. But um, do you see that? Congrats to our buyers on the purchase of their new home. 2858 Cherry, right? Um, here's another one. Congrats to our seller. Her home is now sold. Here's a just listed for sale. Um, so, so you guys, any questions on this? Um, no, I don't have any question. Everything's fine. Yeah, you said Canvas, right? C C Canvas, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Real quick, I'll, I'll go to it real quick. Canva dot com. And trust me, guys, you need to be on Canva. This is the next ad I'm going to place in a couple days. I, I just sold this property. So that's going to be a new ad that I'm going to run um, in strictly in Downey. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to be running that um, the next few days here. Uh, but you can make all kinds of stuff, uh, all your designs, right? It, 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 look at that, right? A lot of the things from the office, right? So there you go. Benny. Yes? Uh, this is Cecilia. I was going to ask you, can you show what you uh, show me how you post listings from the Berkshire Hathaway uh, website to Facebook? Yeah. And, and, and thank you, C Cecilia. Um, and, and actually, that's the next thing I was going to do. Um, uh, guys, I'm going to show you in a second here. But uh, so anyways, so as you can see, um, you know, this is Canva. You guys can make different things, um, different kinds of posts. Um, I really recommend it for your advertising. Um, you know, like I said, this is, you know, it's not really hard to do, you know, um, and, and they even have, if you look on the left side here, these are all the templates and a lot of them are free. Sometimes if they're not free, you see how right on the right little bottom here, this is free. Um, on some of them, they might say like $2 or a dollar, but if you notice, look at that. I stole mine, well not stole mine, but I use this template here to design mine, right? So it's very easy, um, easy to do. Uh, and if you have a teenager at home that's in high school, hire them to do some of your marketing for you. Uh, it's not that hard to do. So, okay, uh, let me go back to, in, okay, I'm, I'm back at Facebook. Can you guys see that? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna close these out. Okay, and then guys, so, um, 
and Cecilia, I'm I'm sorry. Um, you know, with this whole transfer of the websites, I don't know what the deal is, um, but we're working on it. Um, you guys, corporate launched a new website. Um, this is corporate's new website. Really nice. Um, and from what I hear, our agent websites are going to be like this too. I just don't know if they've launched already or, or what. I'm waiting to hear back from Allie um, regarding this. But um, the, these are the websites. Um, don't quote me on this. I think they're $30 a month. The only thing is they, they collect six months up front um, for these websites. Okay. Um, but I mean, you, you trust me, a website like this from any other company is easily a hundred dollars a month, if not more. Um, so it's something to really consider. Here's the coolest thing. Okay. So I'm going to go back and show you, uh, my website. So mine is the old version. Okay. So notice it doesn't have moving video like corporates does or any of that, but, um, but still, okay, it's not too, too bad. I, I do have video in there, um, you know, our listings, uh, you know, things of that nature. But um, here, here's the, the thing that um, Cecilia was talking about. So uh, what's one we can do? Okay, wait, we just saw that. So that's Jolie's new listing, 6959 Rutgers. Okay, 6959. Okay, uh, Rutgers and I think Rutgers Drive. And I, okay, there it is. See, it, it, it took it a, a little bit to get it. All right, here we go. So Okay, so here's the property, right? So let me show you guys something that you could do. When you have your own website, okay? And let's say it's a website like this from Berkshire Hathaway. You could come up here to the address bar, copy that, go into Facebook, okay? And here, I'm gonna go to my personal page, okay? Because like I said, you wanna do a little real estate on there too. Check this out. You paste it, right? Now it popped up. Now you can go back and delete this and you could say, just listed in Anaheim Hills. And I don't know if that's true. Hold on a second, let me, it is Anaheim Hills, okay, good. Okay, just listed in Anaheim Hills. Okay, that's an office listing. That's Jolie Piccolini's listing, okay? But there you have it. Just listen to Anaheim Hills. Notice it shows my website. Now, check this out, guys. People on your page are gonna be able to click it and it takes them to the website, right? Now, here's the thing. Look at what it says here, full gallery available exclusively for members, right? So people wanna see the pictures, so they're gonna go. And then, look how easy it is. Continue with Facebook or put your email address. Let's put email address, yeah? I'm gonna use my, ah, uh, let's do that. All right, that's it. It collected my email, and now I have access to all the photography, right? And on the back end, um, I, I don't know if I'll get it right now. Uh, we're maybe, let me see. No, not yet. Not yet, let me see. Uh, anyways, in a little bit, I will get an email saying RE and Best Consult registered on your website. Now, if I would have done the Facebook route and Facebook has my phone number, it'll give me the phone number. And now 
you know, depending on how aggressive you are, how active you are, you would call and say, hi, Benny Chavez. Uh, I just noted that you logged into my website and you were taking a look at 6959 Rutgers Drive in Anaheim Hills. Do you have any questions about that property or would you like to schedule an appointment to see it? Uh, yeah, I just saw it on your website. It looks nice, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know. We're thinking about it, you know. Oh, okay, great, whatever, you know. So that's something that you could do. And believe me, you'll get leads. Another thing is, so guys, you know, websites are like fax, fax lines. You know, remember many, many years ago, if you didn't have a, a fax number on your business card, you, you, were, you, you weren't popular. So now websites are kind of the same thing. They're, they, they're kind of pointless, but if you don't have one, people are kind of like, how come they don't have a website, you know? Um, you know, people are searching on Redfin, Zillow, Trulia, those are realtor.com. Those are the popular ones. They're not going to bennychavez.com to look for property. Here's the thing though. If you do what I just did on Facebook, then look at that. Look, Alan Gomez just put a wow, right? Wow. All right. So then Alan Gomez is, is probably going to go and click on that property and he's going to end up on my website. And when he ends up on my website, I'm going to get his phone number, right? And I'll get his email address and I'll be able to follow up with him. So the website is good if you're driving traffic to it. If you're not driving traffic to it, it is pointless. So for those of you that have um, done Craigslist with me, you'll see that if you're doing Craigslist and you have a website, people go to your website. I promise you, I get leads on it all the time. So um, there's a question here. Give me a sec, guys. Oh, okay. Somebody just said, I love Canva. It's fast and easy. Um, okay. So, so yeah, guys. So, so that's, that's another part. Um, uh, any questions so far about that? No, my name is okay. Thank you. You guys are good? Okay. Uh, so, so, so just, you know, something to keep in mind, guys, there's so many things to do with Facebook, but I'm, I'm telling you, um, and here, let me just show you a little bit more. Of my, uh, no, let's go to the, so on the business page, I do do a lot of, um, obviously your business posts, real estate posts, but also don't forget to post real estate to your regular page because you want to remind people. Um, but, uh, you know, these are different, different ad ideas that you could use. Um, you know, the biggest thing right now is video guys. So if you have video um, or if you're doing video, try and boost that because people are very visual. Um, but you know, uh, uh, these, you know, the just solds, you know, these are very easy to create in Canva. Um, see, so these, if you notice guys, look, it says boost again because I, um, I, I do advertise on, on, uh, on Facebook, you know, I believe in it. It really does work. So, um, you know, make sure to, to do that. Uh, other than that, uh, so you guys got, I shared everything else with you as far as searching for people. Hopefully you guys don't forget how to do that. Remember, not always are you going to get a, a hit on your search. Um, look, what does this guy say here? Jeff Lyons, buy a duplex. Okay. Anyways, Jeff Lyons is a broker in San Diego. Uh, we're, we're friends. So I allow him off my page, but not, not very, not many real estate people are on there, but, um, so, so yeah, another thing I, I that I can recommend to you guys with Facebook is if you have a chance, go over to lab code agents. Um, you, you guys, it's a private group. Try and add yourself. If you can't be added to it, uh, let me know and I'll send you an invite. Um, they just post a lot of real estate stuff. D different people post stuff. But uh, Tristan, he's the founder of it. And he's got a lot of great content. He's a really successful broker out of Westlake Village. Um, so just, you know, different things, funny things, um, ideas. Uh, you know, just, just all kinds of stuff. So, um, you know, I do recommend doing that. 
If you get a chance, join Lab Crew Agents. Uh, other than that, guys, I think that's about it. Hopefully you learned something on this or you got something of value out of it. Uh, here, there's one more from your Facebook personal account. How do you create a business Facebook? Okay, great. Let me show you guys real quick. Um, and believe me, sometimes even I forget, okay? Uh, Carolina just asked, before we go, um, how do we create a business page? So let me see if I remember. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pages. Oh, oh, check this out, guys. These are pages that I created over the years. None of them are are in service except for the top two. Uh, Welcome to Downey and LA Home Guy. Um, the other ones, I, I they're, they're inactive, they're not active. So, okay, um, so here, let's do that again. So from the home page, you go to here to see more, go to pages, and then here it says create new page. And here you go, page name, category, uh, description, and then it'll let you create the page and that'll be your business page. That's what you're going to need a business page to advertise outside of your friends. But remember, most of your friends, if they know you, like you and trust you, they're going to be the ones that, that do business with you. Now, you know, it's, it's funny. And I used to get upset about it. Um, more when I was younger, but, uh, now I guess not so much. Um, you'll see sometimes when people post, oh, we just got the keys to our house today. And you're like, oh man, you know? Um, let me show you before I leave real quick, Melanie Nelson. All right, so Melanie went to high school with me as well. She doesn't remember me from high school. Uh, she really doesn't. And the funniest thing is, me and her brother used to carpool to school. I used to give her her brother rides to school and he doesn't remember this stuff either, which is weird, okay? But anyways, Melanie, here, let's go. Melanie. Hold on guys, almost. Ah, uh, come on. I just want to show you, you know, sometimes sales are going to take a while. They're not going to be, you know, immediately. Sometimes it's going to take a couple of years. But okay, come on. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Oh my gosh, I just wanna wanna show you. Okay, there you go. So January of 17. And I think I sold her 2019. I think in, in 18. Or no, 18, maybe 19. So, hey, Benny, my husband and I are wanting to buy a house at some point. I always remembered, look, look at that. And I remembered always seeing your posts on here. Isn't that crazy, guys? For free. Uh, obviously, yes, I've done advertising, paid for advertising on the other side, but she's a friend because we went to the same high school. And I remember Melanie. Like, I really remember her from high school. Somehow she doesn't remember me from high school, but whatever. All right. So I remember always seeing your posts. Um, look at that, Carla on the left. She just said yes. What a great, or she loved the. I said what a great film. So, um, anyways, so some more info on how to getting people into homes. Just a little down. We're planning on moving to a rental house in a month or two. We had a down payment saved last year, but got it off. Blah blah blah. blah. All right, hi Melanie. Thanks, blah, blah, blah. guys. One day, Melanie posts a picture after these conversations. She posts a picture of a set of keys and she goes finally got our keys today and I was like oh my god 
you know why does this happen you know so uh oh see here it is look so so anyways we had talked all that time right from from let's see here uh i don't know if it has a date it doesn't have a date sorry guys i don't want to bore, bore you okay yeah it does i'm sorry uh january 23rd 2017 right Okay, give me a sec, guys. Uh, okay, hold on. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Look, so January 23rd, 2017, okay? And then she posts that set of keys, and I go, oh, man, this lady bought a house from somebody else. What the hell? You know, why not me? And then check this out. So January of 2017, May of 2018. And then she says to me, right? Look, her last comment to me was in January of 2017. Her next comment is May of 2018. Okay, I have a challenge for you. We're looking for a second opinion. The College of Fade loan says we now make too much money, approximately blah, 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 blah. Found a perfect home, this and that, blah, 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 blah. All right, bottom line, guys, is from then on, I was like, wait, so you didn't buy a house? No. No, she goes, no, not at all. We, we, uh, we, we, um, we were renting, you know? And I'm like, oh my gosh. So sometimes, uh, you, you, um, don't, don't assume that they did buy a house. It might be that they just rented. And if they do buy a house with somebody else, don't get upset. There's tons of more people out there. Uh, so let's see. Hello, Melanie. I'm a bit confused. I thought you already own a home, right? Nope. You and I talked last year, but we never pursued it. We decided to rent and save, right? Anyways, guys, I ended up selling her a house for like five twenty nine or six twenty nine. I can't remember Santa Fe Springs, but um, the bottom line is, if you look at that, it went from seventeen to like uh, eighteen or nineteen until um, we got it sold. But it works, guys. I'm showing you the proof here that people will reach out to you uh, on Facebook. Um, you know. Uh, I just felt bad. My mom had blind side and it's canceled. So, so we can't, sorry, so we can meet with a uh, perfect address. Look at that. So that's when they came in, right? June 1st of 2018 from January of 2017, the last time I had talked to her. So sometimes it takes time, but, but you will, um, you will get people and, and trust me, you will make a lot of money off of Facebook. If you just do what I'm sure, sh sh what I just shared with you add a lot of people and build your numbers up that have something in common with you post about your daily life but then also once in a while post about business cool um any questions guys hopefully you guys learned something i, I hope it i hope it brought some value to you um if you need any help on a one-to-one -one, feel free to call me and schedule you know an appointment with me to, to sit down and work on it um, but again, like I said, guys, it, uh, if you're not doing uh, social media uh, um, real estate, you're not using social media for real estate, um, you're totally missing out on thousands of dollars. Um, and like, and like I said in the beginning, not to brag, but from that one conversation with that lady, Crystal, five years ago, still to this day, this month, 30000 in gross commissions. I mean, how, how, you know? <laughs> Uh, this is just another thing. And right now, you can't do open house. You can't do uh, door knocking. You can't be uh, really don't want to be cold calling. Hey, start posting on your social media. All right. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for being on the call. Again, um, make it a great week. Um, get to work on your Facebooks. You know, po post uh, if you haven't. Post your last sale. Hey guys, wanted to remind you that, or want to let you know I just closed. You don't have to say, oh, I sold this house in January. No, just, hey, I just sold this house, right? Look, I just showed you, this is Joe Lee's listing. It's not my listing, but I just posted it up, right? It's on my, it's on my website. So I just put it there. Just listen at Anaheim Hills. I didn't say, check out my new listing. I just said, hey, this is just listed in Anaheim Hills, right? So um, good luck to you guys. If you need any more help on this or want to 
remember this will be recorded on on uh youtube at la home guy um and uh make it a great week talk to you thank later thank you very much thank you very much Benny. have a good All one right. too. see you guys bye, -bye. adios